there are all kinds of interactive objects that can move players, launch them, get in their way, and more. They are divided into three types, moving, triggerable, and functional. Moving objects, objects that automatically move on their own. Triggerable objects, object that need players to do something to trigger them to move. Functional objects, objects that perform a specific function. Moving objects, these include rotating disks, moving platforms, large swinging hammers, and more. Interactive moving objects automatically move on their own at the start of the match. Let's take the moving platform as an example. After selecting the objects to be placed, we can set up how the platform will move by adjusting parameters such as the X, Y, Z coordinate axis, movement type and movement space. After saving the setting, we can preview. We can see that the device has started moving on its own. As for characters, they only need to stand on the device to move along with it. Triggerable objects. These include boost belts, player launchers, trampolines, and more. Interactive triggerable objects generally remain stationary and will only interact with players when triggered by them. For instance, after selecting player launcher, we can tap the edit button to adjust various parameters that control the launch force, launch angle, and whether the object will be harmed upon landing. Once the settings are complete, the player will be launched in the direction pointed by the arrow when they touch the touchpad. Functional objects. These are functional objects such as one-way obstacles and rulers. These objects can be used for a specific purpose. For example, only one side of the one-way obstacle can be accessed, while the other side will be blocked if someone tries to pass through it. In the parameter settings, the length and height of the obstruction device can be adjusted, making it perfect for guiding players to the finish line in certain stages by preventing them from accidentally going the wrong way. These interactive devices allow creators to make their battleground more fun and challenging. For instance, the rotating hammer can be used as a prank in competitive modes. Put it somewhere where players have to cross, and as soon as they get hit, they'll be knocked away. Another example is the conveyor belt. Put it in reverse on a critical path in a platforming stage to act as an obstacle and make clearing the stage harder. Of course, there's still lots more fun to be discovered yourself while creating. Hurry and give it a try now!